Have you ever tried parachuting from a platform? Today I have something special for you. We are going to be parachuting with huge flags up to 10 meters into the swimming pool. And if everything goes smoothly, we will have to find the way to parachute even from higher towers. But would the self-made parachutes work? I got two of my friends here today, Alex and Ilya, and I brought a giant piece of fabric to the pool. We are going to use it as a parachute and see if it's actually going to help us to fly. The main challenge is to see if the parachute is going to slow us down enough that we won't smack on the water even if we do a belly flop. Watch the episode until then to find that out. All dives and tricks are performed by trained professionals. Don't try this at home or somewhere else. Hey, what's up, water crew? Welcome to Water Magic, the fastest growing water sports and fun community. My name is Jim and I'm a cliff diver. This video was filmed in two locations. That was complicated, rather expensive and really extreme. Today you will see something really unique. We will try self-made parachutes out of fabric. And we are going to test them out from all the possible heights. By the way, in diving world we call it the flag dive. And the biggest reward will be if you make the full screen and watch this video until the very end. Are you ready for that? Let's fly! We are going to start on a 5 meters platform. Ilya is saying that 5 meters is not going to be enough for us to actually fly. But I really do not want to go to 10 meters right away. I think I should start by running so I have more speed at the beginning of the flight. Guys, everything went great. The parachute opened and I even felt like I was flying slower if I would jump without it. However, Ilya, who actually has some experience in parachuting, is saying that I will be able to feel the air resistance only if I jump from 10 meters or higher. What if we went to a 20 meters platform with our parachute? We are up to 10 meters and Alex is going to go first. He is saying that his plan is to take off, go for a nice fly and then gently land on the surface of the water. Anyways, let's wish Alex luck and I'm going to go right after him. I think we should film someone doing the same dive without the parachute, so we can compare the speed of two dives. Alex says that he definitely felt the slowdown. To prove that parachute is working, I'm going to jump off 10 meters without it. Now we can see if there is any difference in the speed of the jumps with and without the parachute. I think the difference is obvious. Comment below what do you think about it, water crew? Ilya shows me the right way, how to tighten the flag not to get injured. By the way, he has the most experience with such things out of three of us, because he worked for a water show in Germany for like 12 years. The secret is to tighten it around your ankles, but not around your wrists, otherwise you won't be able to save yourself in the air in case something goes wrong. Ok, let's fly! I want to do a belly flop! You can see on the replay that I really got a slowdown. However, I didn't land on my belly, because the flight was fast enough for me to smack and get hurt. I landed flat on my back in one other episode from this pool. And I never want to experience that again. But what about going higher? We got really excited by the crazy idea of parachuting from 20 meters. And we decided to travel to Crete and guess what? We have 13, 15 and 20 meters platforms here. The surprise challenge is to jump off 20 meters altogether wearing our parachutes. And I'm sure no one has done it before. 13 meters platform is equal to a 4 stories building. So I went for a dive as quickly as I could. I can say for sure the difference between 10 and 13 meters is really big. I don't even know what to expect from 15 and 20 meters platforms. I'm on my way to 15 meters and I have to say that many of the divers here are questioning my dives with the flag. They probably think I'm insane. Well, I will show them insane. 15 meters air resistance was crazy. I am now thinking what will I end up in case of a wind blow. All I can say right now is that I am more than happy that how 15 meters jump went. The flex makes the entry much softer on my feet, which is really nice. I was twisted a little, so I have to fix that on 20 meters. Why am I doing that again? I don't know guys, I guess the adrenaline I get from diving is what keeps me going. I am up on 20 meters platform and I have a special piece of fabric for this dive. The ones we used to jump off 10 meters were kinda thin, but this one is different. It's a kind of satin fabric, which won't allow any air to go through. 
It opens as a parachute even then I simply raise my arms up. I'm so nervous now. What is going to happen once I jump off? The one important thing is that I cannot land to the right of the platform, because it is not deep enough there. The final dive of the episode is to be performed by me, Alex and Lasse Schaller. You should have heard about him. Lasse has the world record for diving of the highest platform. He dove of 58.8 meters. Comment if you would like to see an episode with him. He is a truly amazing person. Would you like to join triple flag dive? Why not? Oh my god, I love this man! So we have to come up with a plan on how three of us can jump from here simultaneously. I think one of us would need to jump as far as possible this way. The other one will be here and the last one somewhere there. This way we hopefully won't hurt each other. We are on our way to 20 meters. Alex has given out some advice before our insane jump. He is saying that you should enjoy the flight as long as possible. Do you guys believe it is really possible to enjoy such a thing instead of being terrified the entire time? Okay, water crew, now it is time for some real business. Yep. Ready, set, start. Look at how much slower we were flying from 20 meters. Lasse is the craziest one of us, because he dove head first, which is ridiculous to do off such a high platform. Because we have to wait too long now and then have to do head first from top. You can do feet first. No, I go always head first, I can't do feet first. I'm so happy we were able to do the most epic dive of 20 meters. Our flags worked extremely well, which made it so much fun to dive with them. By the way, what about 27 meters flag dive? And now a small extra present from us. How about to perform the same at night? We had a show after the competitions. By the way, we all just competed here. Comment below if you would like to see a review about it. And look at that! Yes, that was actually one of the most epic moments in my cliff diving career. Because we couldn't clearly see the water and the flight felt like eternity. I feel as if I've spent 20 plus years in diving to be able to perform this shot. That felt really awesome. Okay, what a crew, please comment below what you would like to see next. Cheer us up with the subscription and like. Please don't forget to push the bell, because uh, this makes one cliff diver really smile. And uh, don't do crazy stuff, we will do it, instead of you better watch uh, some other videos take care bye